Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second tier. And as you can see, we've got a bit of a different setting here today. That's because we're doing a match day vlog for the 2024 playoff final between Leeds and Southampton. Me and Justin are both going to be there at the game for this one. And, you know, it's not something that I'd say get used to. We thought we'd just do a kind of a one-off kind of thing. We're going to be sat in the press box at the game. Um, so it's a bit of a behind the scenes kind of thing. But you can come with us throughout the day to kind of see what everything's like behind the scenes and, you know, get a view of the game from our perspective as well. And, you know, if you're not at the game, it's a great way to act like you were there as well. So, you know what? Let's crack on with the day ahead. We're currently at the hotel. I'm going to go get a hot chocolate and then I'm going to meet up with Justin, who is getting the train this morning down from Derby. I'm going to meet him at the station very shortly. Here he is. What a creature. <laughs> so Justin and I have been on the phone to each other for about 10 minutes now, trying to figure out where the other one is. Yeah, it's taken a while. It's <laughs> taken a bloody long time. We got there in the end. You're really tall. Can you get Sorry. Some? Yeah, thank you. Um, and we finally found each other. How was your train down, Justin? It was actually quite comfortable. Mm. It's quite comfortable. It's literally full of Leeds fans. I was um, going to say, no when, when you told me what time your train was, yeah. I assumed there were going to be loads of Leeds fans there. So yeah, a couple of Saints fans as well. From Derby? From Kettering. Oh, so okay. If you're a Saints fan from, from Kettering and you're a listener. There you go. You've been spotted by Justin yeah, Peach. Yeah. Um, was it too busy on the train or was it actually all right? Yes, everyone was stood up. I had a seat. I did think that may be the case. I mean, I've seen loads of Leeds fans around this morning, loads of Leeds shirts. Um, a couple of people giving me a funny look. There's a couple walking past us now. Actually. Yes, they are. I'll spin that around. There you go. Um, I don't think I did, but, <laughs> uh, but we're now about to separate because Justin has to go to the hotel, drop his stuff off. Buy my shirt. Buy your shirt. I'm going to go to Wembley and I'm going to see what the crack is there. Maybe go to some of the pubs and see how busy it is there. Considering it is, what time is it? It's half ten in the morning. I still think there's going to be quite a few people on the lash already. Um, that's Wembley. That's Wembley. Baby. That's Wembley for you. That's playoff final day. Win or lose, we're on the booze. <laughs> At Wembley, you can see the people behind me. There's a lot of action going on here, considering it's still quite early. Um, I'd say Leeds fans significantly outnumbered Southampton fans on the trains that I was on, although having said that, I was coming from a similar direction, I suppose, to Leeds fans. I'm starting to see a lot more Southampton fans right now, but the atmosphere is lively, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now going to try and see if I can sneak into any of the Leeds or Southampton pubs. Um, just try to get some of the footage there, see how things are kicking off there. Hopefully not kicking off, but you know what I mean. Hopefully it'll be nice. Why well, someone let off a flare in a bush outside McDonald's? So I've just been to the Green Man, uh, which is the pub that the Southampton fans are at. It's a bit lively, but it's good. It's good fun. There's a, there's a lot of people there, and it always surprises me um, how much people are willing to drink at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, got to pace yourself, lads. Come on. Um, but yeah, it's getting a bit lively there. I'm now going to see if I can get into the Box Park, which is the official lead pub. Um, you'll find out in about five seconds whether I've got in or not. Park. I, th I thought the whole idea of these pubs was 
to you know get the atmosphere going but when the blast and the music so loud that you can't actually hear anything it kind of takes away from the magic of having loads of lead fans in the same place i mean it was good in there when they played um uh, push it who sings that i can't remember um that was good because the lead fans started singing along to a the junior furpo song but yeah um it's, it's not really my kind of place you, you know, i much prefer the southampton one i think because you've actually got a uh, you know just fans there having a nice time whereas these people are trying to talk <laughs> over the loud of over the, some really noisy music anyway um, one thing i will say is to be fair to the fact that there's you know thousands of fans here from both sets of teams it's been really well behaved so far i haven't seen any trouble at all um, there's a lot of police here so you'd be a bit stupid to cause any trouble but I've, um, I've enjoyed that much so far. I mean, the atmosphere in general is just really good. Um, hopefully that continues and goes into the game. And with us now having visited both sets of fans, it's time for us to go to Wembley. <laughs> Wembley. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It's not bad at all, is it? I mean, uh, this is basically where I'm sat, along with Justin and uh, our producer, producer Finn, for the next uh, few hours. Actually, God, the plan is for us, we're coming here, watching the game, obviously, and then uh, doing the podcast straight after the game. Well, probably once it's died down a bit, so we could be here for for oh, several hours really um, but it's not a bad gig at all is it not a bad life um, but yeah strange seeing it like this when it is empty because obviously most fans only really see it when they're um, when it's full so it's going to be absolutely jam-packed and the noise is going to be incredible in a few minutes time I imagine um, but yeah just being a football fan in general a championship fan it's not a bad life it was at this point that I forgot to record any new content, but look at this transition. The game then begun and obviously because of rules we can't film any of the game itself but here is Southampton fans reacting to the goal after 24 minutes. Southampton are ahead after 24 minutes, Adam Armstrong firing them ahead Justin, it came a bit against the runner played didn't it? Yes, Southampton did create a couple of half chances, knocking it around the box. But yeah, I think Leeds were controlling the game with the ball. But yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy goal in terms of how easy Adam Armstrong got through. Just I mad. have no idea how he had so much space. It was like the two of the Leeds defenders were playing a completely different defensive line to the other two Leeds defenders. But yeah, a bit surprising, but uh, the limbs... I mean, you, you'll have just seen them, but uh, yeah, the limbs were sensational. There's now a strong smell of flair. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you want at women after a goal. Yeah, this is what we came for. But the atmosphere so far has been sensational. It's been great. Yeah. Really good stuff. See if Leeds can get back into it. So Southampton won it up at half time. Adam Armstrong with the goal in the 24th minute, Justin. I think, uh, to be honest, Southampton it may have came a bit against the run of play but I don't think you know I think as time went on 
I'd say Southampton probably were the better team in that first half. No, I'd agree with you. I would agree with you. I think the way they control the game out of possession. I mean, it's just not something you expect with this Russell Martin side. It's actually quite, quite astounding how disciplined they have been defensively. Yeah. But it's a Wembley final. You're going to step on your game, aren't you? And they're doing that. They're, they're shutting every single lead avenue down, which is a fantastic seat tactically anyway. Yeah, uh, Somerville so far, very quiet. Yeah. Jardino Rutter's trying to make things happen, but it's not really come off for him no, so far. So like massive, yeah. I think uh, you've got to say Southampton probably deserve the lead so far. And Leeds at the moment just don't look like they to turn up. I think Daniel Park is probably going to have to make some changes at half time if uh, they do want to get back into this game. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Then again, like you're looking at the bench now, who's going to come on and, uh, and change the game for, for Leeds because all their top players are out on the pitch at the moment. You look at Jaden Anthony maybe, he's a, he's, a, he's a talented player, but is he going to do something better than Somerville or not? Uh, or, or, yeah, or not I don't know, I don't know. I just don't think um, tactically Leeds have got, or personnel-wise, Leeds have got as much as Southampton. He's doing that star quality. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting second half. Leeds definitely need to play a lot better than they did in that first half, that's for sure. Leeds have just nearly equalised. Dan James on the half volley from about the edge of the box, really. It's, <laughs> we were sat right behind it. We saw it loop over Alex McCarthy, and then it crashed against the bar, came down, it was just, um, it was about a yard away from going over the line. Unbelievable scenes. That's how close Leeds have got. They haven't really had much else, to be honest, but time's running out. We've got a handful of minutes left, and that's it. Southampton will be in the Premier League if this carries on. to hear us because it's very noisy but Southampton have done it Justin no, it's an unbelievable unbelievable scenes really it's incredible especially how they managed the game as well in that second half Leeds came out Dan James came up the Leeds it was incredible but oh my god the noise the noise hey just look oh. at this look at this the <laughs> just the limbs like the actual limbs you can just see so many arms bouncing up and down but uh Free from design came on. You probably can't hear what we're saying right now. This may be completely pointless, but you know, it's a Wembley final. This is what it's all about. Flares, the smell of flares in the air. The just the scenes. There's an actual firework I can see over there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's cliche, isn't it? But it's the best place to win, and you can see the fans yeah. here. These fans are now. Leeds fans are almost completely empty, it's incredible. Yeah, look, look at this, look at this. Leeds fans are nearly gone already. That, that has emptied out really quickly, haven't it? We've only just, literally in the past five minutes, had a full-time whistle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. What a game. Yeah, 
people are turned for the books, and not so many people are missed, did they? Not me, not me. But fair play to Russell Martin, more, more, in the, more in the podcast than he did, an enormous amount of credit to try and that team because that was a disciplined performance, to say the least. After the game, I went down to the mix zone, uh, which is downstairs in Wembley, where you got the players walking past, going to the team coach and the players' lounge. There's Flynn Downs eating some toast. Um, and here's Liam Cooper, looking very sad. Oh, poor Liam. So there we have it, Justin. Southampton, they're promoted. I mean, what a day it's been. <laughs> what a day. What an incredible, incredible day. It's been long. It's what, about 7 p.m. now we're recording it? Yeah, well, I got so... to Wembley at 12, <laughs> um, so it's been a... It's gone really quickly. I was saying, quick. We were saying just a minute ago, the game went really quickly, didn't it? It really did. I, I think that's just a Wembley, a Wembley experience. Mm. A Wembley experience, everyone has that. But look, that's, uh, that's just how it goes. And then you get games like that where they're quite, uh, you know, quite close, yep. quite you know, scrappy at times. And that's just a Wembley final. It goes quick. It's fleeting, but it's memories are last forever, Ryan. Yes, absolutely. Won't they just? Uh, of course, if you want to hear our thoughts on the game itself, then a new episode will be out by the time this episode um, is here. So um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know where to listen to us. Um, in fact, it'll be on YouTube now as well. So, yeah, you can find us there as well. But, yeah, what a day it has been. Of course, a big thank you to the EFL for letting us come here to watch it live. Um, and, yeah. Hopefully it's more more just the start of uh, many playoff finals we'll be at regularly at Justin. But yeah, what, what a day it's been. Um, and congratulations to Southampton. Commiserations to Leeds United. You'll have us back again next season. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thank you for watching.